listen, I love a good racing game and the Switch doesn't have that many good racing sims outside of Grid, Need for Speed and the Gear Club games. So when I got a chance to review Speed 3 Grand Prix, I was excited to see if another game could be added to that list. What's up everyone, I'm Dan and today, oh boy. Alright, let me read a description of the Nintendo website for Speed 3 Grand Prix. Get on the circuit and show that you're the best driver of all time. Pick your favourite Formula racing car and make your way to the first spot in all seasons to claim the championship title. Drive recklessly to take down the competition and let them all bite your dust. Race through the American wastelands, tear up the asphalt of the German circuit, compete in British countryside and drift through the neon filled streets of Tokyo. It's up to you to become a true motorsport legend. So the game's features are adrenaline fueled and intense high speed arcade circuit racing, take down the competition with explosive and spectacular style, rank at the top of each season to establish your reputation as the world's greatest driver, intuitively easy and accessible car handling designed for players of all ages and kinds, manage your car damage as before you know it you'll be burning more than just rubber, go on a world tour around the best tracks the world has to offer, experiencing various weather effects all brought to you in top visual quality. Okay let's just stop right there. Okay so the game has three modes, tournament, quick race and time trial. You can play local split screen but there is no online play here. Game controls are your standard setup with the right and left trigger buttons controlling speed and brakes respectively. But unfortunately the game just doesn't feel polished as it should be. The cars which all don't seem to have any differences between them from what I can tell control like they're on ice and look as though they're floating around the tracks. The, the tyres don't even move when you go around really tight corners. The button input seems to have a delay in it too so you'll end up crashing over and over and over again and this is if the AI which is the worst doesn't crash into you first having you going up in a ball of flames. There also seems to be a delay when you're selecting options and the car that you want. Everything just seems to move really slowly and drag. The visuals feel like a serious downgrade from the PS4 version and I'm not sure the frame rate is locked at 30 frames per second as I've had some jittery gameplay issues whilst racing and there wasn't that much going on on screen. There are low and blurry textures and you can see trees growing in front of you with the pop-up that takes place. The sound and music is okay, nothing memorable, the cars sound fine but nothing here is going to wow you. Speed 3 Grand Prix is on the eShop for $26.99 in the UK, $39.99 in the US and honestly if it were between 5 to £10 I would be more lenient towards it but for the price it's going at I just couldn't recommend this game. This is more crash and burn than fast and furious. If you are desperate to play a great racing sim on a Switch, Grid exists and trust me that is a game worth playing that a lot of people may have overlooked. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll catch you next time.